Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient who had a recent carpal tunnel release a couple weeks ago, and they had pain in their hand and wrist, and the new finding really was that they had difficulty flexing their fifth finger. So the surgeon thought maybe a problem with the flexor tendon, want to look at that, and that history is enormously helpful. Um, so here we go, looking at the scan. This is one of those scans you get nervous looking at because there's so much going on. An elderly gentleman, we can see here the digits. He has some osteoarthritis here, especially at the index finger. Here's the index finger where there's complete loss of joint spacing, spurring and erosion, really classic uh, osteoarthritis. And also if we slide up here, we can see the same findings at the base of the thumb, right down here. So advanced osteoarthritis, they also had evidence what I believe to be rheumatoid arthritis, the joint, uh, all the joints of the wrist were very narrowed and small erosion scattered around. And of course, here we see some abnormal signal in the lunate bone. So it looks like lunate omalacia or AVN of the lunate bone, which is Kienbach disease, has not collapsed yet. And maybe the capitate bones have migrated approximately slightly. So lots of findings um, besides the flexor tendon problem. So on this view here, we can see the Fifth digit is over on this side. Let me go down here. Here we go. The pinky finger here. And then here's the fourth, third, second. We can see here how nice these flexor tendons are, nice and thick. We have the superficialis and the profundus tendons together, kind of blending together here. We can see how nice and thick, nice and thick, nice and thick. And we get to the fifth one here, and you can see, uh-oh, this doesn't look quite right. It looks gray right in here. We don't see that straight, dark tendon. We see a little one here. This turns out to be the superficialis, but the profundus comes over here, stops right here, and this is the end of it. And if we come down here low, we can see the proximal retracted portion. So here we go. This is a T2-weighted sequence with fat suppression. It comes up here, makes a turn, and it goes right behind the hamate bone. Here's the hook of the hamate bone, and I can see it coming right here and stopping right about the hook of the hamate bone. And then from there, all we see is the superficialis right here, and then here's the torn end. So it's retracted about four centimeters between right here and down here, the hook of the handmate bone. Now here we have an axial T1-weighted sequence. We can see the flexor tendons combined here, and the index finger, third, fourth, and here's the fifth. Looks a little different and small here. But we're going to come down and keep coming down. Now we see the paired ones at each level. One, two, one, two, one, two. Here we just see the one. And then this is the torn end here, the profundus, and this is the superficialis. We can see the superficialis coming down, kind of pairing up with this other one. And again, the profundus, we just don't see it. Here's the torn end. If we come down into the, uh, down lower into the wrist, this is that hamate. We go down lower. Now we can see this starting to show back up. So there it is right there. I'm going to roll up, 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 and then watch it disappear. Poof, gone right there. And then it reappears distally. And one last view right here. This is a T2-weighted sequence again. We can see the torn profundus. This is a superficialis. And we can see that the profundus is right here, and then we lose it. There could be a little tiny fragment possibly right here. Very hard to tell. But we get down here to the handmate bone, and proximal to that uh, comes back to a normal size. So a complete or com a near complete tear, probably a complete tear of the uh, tendon and a bunch of other uh, findings here. So thank you very much and hope you have a great day.